welcome today to my birthday vlog. Woo I am so excited. It is December 13th, my birthday, and I thought that I could bring y'all along with me for my full birthday day and celebration. I started this morning with breakfast in bed and my family came and sang happy birthday to me and they gave me a couple gifts that I opened that were super super sweet and it was a great way to start the morning and I am now ready to get my day started. I'm not really sure what I'm going to do during the day. I have dinner plans today to celebrate my birthday. But besides that, the rest of the day is just kind of chill. So I thought that y'all could hang with me and we'll see what we get up to before dinner. So I hope y'all also have a good day. And if you're Swedish, happy St. Lucia day. And if not, happy birthday to me. <laughs> so let's get celebrating. Hi again. I've just gotten back from running some errands. I grabbed lunch and I picked up a little package. And so far my day has just been pretty chill and it's gonna be chill for a little while longer. So I thought I could open up this box with y'all. I'm really excited. I've been waiting a long time for, for this. Because of all the, like the holiday orders and stuff like that, everything's been a little bit backlogged. So the delivery company was a bit late with this package, so I'm super excited and ready to open it. And I thought we could look at it together. So let's do it. So I ordered this. <laughs> it's a, it looks like a really big package, but it's because I ordered stuff with my mom. So all of this isn't for me. <laughs> You're wondering how much I could possibly order. Oh, it's just a, I'm so smart. If you're wondering why I'm so lost, I usually don't order stuff online. <gasps> so I am not the best apparently at opening packages. But because it's the holidays and you need lots of stuff to wear, and I had been this package is from another story, and I went to their store and tried on some clothes a while back. And I wasn't sure if I wanted to get some stuff or not, so I waited. And then I realized that I really wanted this one top and this dress, both just for myself to wear like all year round, but I also realized that it'd be super good for the holidays. So the first thing I got was this bustier top that's kind of like a, I guess like a maroon color. Super, super pretty. And I got this black dress. It's a little bit, both of these things are kind of out of my comfort zone, so I'm thinking we're gonna try them on and see how they look. Kind of a new style for me, but I really like them and I think that it's gonna be good. It's kind of hard to see because it's so long, but it's this like cut out long <laughs> black dress. So I think that I really wanna try these on and I'll show y'all how they look on and if they're as good as I think they are. Fingers crossed. Here's the first top. It is so cute. It is lace in the back. It's, as you can see, my jeans are super high-waisted, but this, I'm gonna show you that it has like a square thing so if you were to wear like either your jeans folded down or if you were to wear low-waisted jeans, there's like a belly cut out and it's lace all the way, which is super pretty. The only thing I can say is if you're alone, it is a little bit of a hassle in case you need to change the lacing and stuff like that to get it on because I don't know if you can see what it's like. It's really like second skin, <laughs> but it fits super comfy and I don't, it's not because it's not really on your stomach and for me it's just like hitting where my ribs are. It doesn't feel like how you imagine. 
imagine like a Boussier or a corset that it just like holds you in and you feel like you can't breathe. Like this is super comfortable. It's only a little bit like tight in the chest, but not at all in a way that's uncomfortable. So I really like it. And the fabric is pretty like thick, so it feels super nice quality. And I think with like a nice pair of pants or like a skirt, this would be so cute. And I even like, if you don't want to show your belly like that, and you like you primarily wear high waisted pants, you can just tuck it in and it looks super good. I'm gonna see if I can get closer so you can like properly see everything. Just a cute little top. And I'm gonna hold this so you can see here in the light. There's kind of like a seam going here like under your chest. That's like really, it's pretty supportive. So I feel comfortable wearing this even if I'm not wearing a bra. <laughs> And then I'm gonna see if I can show y'all the back closer. I can't really see. And it looks, I don't know how it looks, I can't see, but it feels super comfortable in the back. And then you just tie it however you want. And there's a zipper on the side and a button, so that's how you get into it. But I'm super happy with this. I think it's super cute. I think also if it feels, if you don't wanna show, that much skin I think you could probably put like a t-shirt like a crop t-shirt or something under it and it'd be super cute so let's go try on the dress here is the dress it's I don't even think you can see I'm it's like super super long perhaps it's again like a pretty like thick comfy material it is a little bit out of my comfort zone it has like this cutout thing that I don't think I've ever worn before, but I really like the shape of the dress and it feels like I keep touching it, it feels super nice. The back is just super simple and you can't really see because of how long it is, but at the like last little bit on the side, there's a slit right here, which is cute and I think helps it look a little bit more like fun and young and not so much as like a straight black dress. I'm gonna see if I can again in the light show you this is how so it's like it's supposed to be like two cups that are put together and again a little bit outside of my comfort zone but I think it's cute. I don't know if you can see there's two seams here that are going down to like give it more shape. Early season, I'm capturing my confidence and I'm going to wear this dress. I think it's super, super nice and it is something that I look at online or at pictures and think like that's such a cute dress. And I can also wear it even if it's a little bit new for me. But I'm so happy with both purchases and they're both like they give fancy holiday vibes i feel like so definitely appropriate for all the holiday things that i have going on soon but also are like neutral enough where it feels like if i wear it any other time of the year no one's gonna be like why are you wearing a christmas thing in july <laughs> so i think i'm gonna get a lot of good use out of these they fit well they feel comfy and they feel like they're good quality so i think that they're gonna keep up and i can wear them lots and lots of times so hey i'm so happy it worked out and now i'm gonna chill a little bit more and i'll think i'll see y'all when i'm getting ready for my birthday dinner next so i'll see y'all then we're back it is now finally time to start getting ready for dinner so I have picked out an outfit, which I'm gonna get changed into later, and I'm quickly gonna do my makeup. I've done this before, so I think I'm gonna just speed through it. All of my products are Glossier. I use the Boy Brow, the Lash Slick, and the Cloud Paint. But I have one new addition that I got recently because I wanted to try it out, which when I get to it, I'll show y'all. So first up, Boy Brow. Okay, 
So now for the new part, I got one of their lid stars, which it says it's a glistening eye glow. I've never, like I've said before, I'm pretty much like a full new beginner when it comes to makeup. So I've never really used like eyeshadow and stuff like that. And it feels very skinny and complicated because I don't know what I'm doing. But so I've seen these lid stars where it's just like this little tube of color. This is in the color, let me see, cup. And it's supposed to be like a rose goldy. And it's supposed to be like an easy way to just like brighten up your eyes. So there's this like doe foot applicator and you have like the creamy stuff and then you can just like put it on your eyelid and it's supposed to look good. So I'm gonna try that. I tried it when I got it just on one eyelid to test it out. So let's see how this goes. So I don't know if you can see, but so here's my eye without it and here's my eye with it. So it just adds like a little shimmer and like a very light color on the actual eyelid. But I feel like once I have my mascara and everything, it's gonna help my eyes pop a little. Let's see if I can do it on the other eye. So that's how it looks. I think it looks okay. It's obviously not the best application because I've never done something like this. So I've just tried to put it on my eyelid and I'm sorry <laughs> if you're like screaming at your screen right now thinking like, girl, you look like you're 12 and you've tried an eyeshadow for the first time. It might be giving that, but I'm happy with it. And I'm trying. And if you have any pro tips, please give them to me. I'm trying to learn. So now I'm just gonna speed through eyelashes and cloud paint. Lash lick. Okay, I think that's good enough. So here's the face. Super simple. I hope it looks okay. I'm a little bit stressed right now. I'm gonna bring this with me in the car and hopefully it turns out great. And I'll show y'all with the outfit and everything on later. So thank y'all and I'll see y'all soon.
just got back from dinner. We had a super nice dinner. We had a family style meal and we shared some dishes that I've got some a film of. So I think I'm just showing y'all it. And it was really, really nice. And then we got home and we had some cake, my favorite cake, red velvet cake. And then I opened a couple of gifts from some people. And then now it is starting to get time to go to bed. But I just wanted to round off here. Also, before I forget, I haven't shown you all my outfit. <laughs> I'm in the bathroom, by the way. <laughs> I'm wearing this matching set with a black skirt and like a feathered trim. I don't know if you can see that. It's like feathered and then the top also has a feathered trim. Super cute. I've had this set for a really long time, but I've never actually worn it, so I was so happy that it came to use today. It's really cute. But so thank you all so much for coming along on my birthday extravaganza today. I know that was like a pretty chill birthday and primarily stuff happened during the morning and in the evening, but it was really nice and I'm really thankful for another birthday and all the celebrations and it was just a really fun time. So here's to another year. And I hope you all enjoyed this little birthday vlog. And thank you all so much for watching. Please like, comment below, and subscribe. I'd really appreciate it if you all would want to join me on this little YouTube journey. And now into what would be 2023 soon. That's insane, but it's 2023 soon. But I'd really appreciate it. And I'll thank you all again for being here with me on my birthday. And I'll see you all in the next one. Peace.